For 12 days, Stockholm becomes a global village inhabited by cinephiles and stars alike. The audience is given the opportunity to meet their favorite actors on the red carpet and in the face-to-face -face auditorium. In Turn Me On, Dammit, Norwegian actress Helene Bergsholm delivers a stunning performance as Alma, a teenage girl whose sexual curiosity is too loud-spoken for the small town in which she lives. We had the pleasure of accompanying Bergsholm, as well as her co-star Malin Bjørhevde, during one day in Stockholm. They uh, were looking for people who has our dialect, <laughs> mm -hmm. so they came to schools in our area, Sognofjordane, and then we just went to auditions and got picked. <laughs> <laughs> it was just for fun. There's Arthur. Hi, Arthur. He was out with a pick. He was still on the side of me. So he opened the box and smacked me. So he dropped him out of the door. So he's like that. Let's go, Alma, what's up? No. And you're out with a pick. Thanks, Alma. I think many people can relate to what Alma is uh, going through. Alle vet hva du sa. Ingen kjente å prate med deg. Er det noen som var borti Alma og pikken deres i stedet? Pikken, 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 pikken! Det er noe unormalt med Alma. Det er ikke galt. Sikkert ikke. Jævla tensinghåret. Det er liksom så vanskelig å få sagt hva jeg føler. For du er så... Upopulær. Ja. Vi bor i en veldig liten town, så vi får den følelsen av å ville komme ut og oppleve andre ting. Jeg er så jævla drittlig i det her hålet. Japanese superstar Masanobu Andu is accustomed to hearing cheering screams wherever he walks in the streets of Tokyo. This year, he can be seen in Kashuito Ishii's Smuggler. I haven't trained any uh, martial arts, but before the shooting started, um, I was told by the director to um, just keep in good shape, but mm -hmm. not do too much. And I also had a personal trainer with me. Usually to build good muscles you need at least three months, but I only had half um, the time. So every day I would work about three to four hours training my muscles. And then after that I also had to take uh, Chinese lessons. The reason I choose these films is because I have fallen in love with the director's work. I believe that the passion of um, making films is um, something that can be shared. Uh, even though the culture might be different, we can still um, connect, and that's how I feel. One of France's most famous actors, Jean-Pierre Dorosson, is seen in two films this year, Aki Karasmaki's La Havre and Robert Guidijon's the snows of Kilimanjaro. I'm a, I'm a lucky man because uh, three directors uh, the last year uh, proposed to me uh, very three uh, nice character and a good director. <laughs> when the character is uh, fantastic, like uh, in this movie, it's not uh, difficult to, to for the choose. <laughs> I'm proud uh, because uh, when I, I see the, the audience very touch uh, and uh, and the people uh, told told us uh, after uh, how uh, it is uh, the true this movie it is the true the life is like this and thank you for for your works and it is uh, the best, uh, the best recompense. People in Stockholm have already set their eyes on Adina Galupa, the Romanian actress, who together with George Pistoriano personifies this year's spotlight. The movie Lover Boy is about a boy who um, makes girls fall in love with him and then um, they are so in love with him that they go and become prostitutes and one girl is so special that he falls in love with her 
And then you have a dilemma. Should he just be with her or should he do the same thing he does to other girls? My character is in love with this boy and um, when he asked if I wanted to sleep with other men for him, I said yes. And so the difficult part was understanding how a girl could go to such length for the man she loves. <laughs> I wonder if you're aware of the fact that our conversation has so far lasted 13 hours. I'm in Madrid. Uh, I just got off the stage and got dressed very quickly so I could do this. She's a walking advertisement for the effectiveness of psychoanalysis. Psychoanalysis? For some reason, David always thought that I would be right for Freud, even though physically it would have been easier to look like Jung, I suppose. But, uh, but I'm, glad I, I'm glad he chose me for Freud. It was a very interesting challenge, you know? It was a big stretch. It was much different than anything I'd done before. But once I understood when I learned about Freud, read a lot of stuff about him, others, uh, people's descriptions of him, and realized he, that he actually had a very good sense of humor, then I just tried to put as much uh, of an uh, ironic, uh, you know, tone into his way of speaking and answering questions, asking what questions, and that that ended up being a lot of fun. What do you think of Carl Jung and Freud's ideas? Sure. <laughs> Another idea. Are you uh, are you well, in favor of psychoanalysis? That's a long answer, possibly, but but I can say that. No, I mean I think that their ideas were not so far apart, really, especially at that time. I mean later on, after the period of this movie, Jung, in fact, uh, became what Freud was afraid of. In a way, he became as much uh, a religious figure as he did a scientist, you know, he went farther and farther into mysticism and, you know, an interest in comparative mythology, I suppose, and his ideas of synchronicity, you know, the collective unconscious, all those things. The things that Freud feared that would distract from psychoanalysis being a pure science. But at the time of this movie, I think that they were a lot closer, academically speaking. In any event, I've simply opened a door. It's for the young men like yourself to walk through it. I'm sure you have many more doors to open for us. Here are some of the films playing on the final weekend of the 22nd Stockholm Film Festival. so fun that Stockholm actually have a festival that is now growing more and more I think because it's more people around Stockholm that is not film viewers from the beginning is actually quite anxious knowing that this festival is on.